what we're trying to do is really uh, come up with a plausibly realistic sequence of events so that we understand all of the transitions throughout this whole pathway. And we'd like to understand a complete pathway from planet formation through early chemistry, more complicated organic chemistry, up to the uh, assembly of those building blocks into the first cells, the emergence of Darwinian evolution, and then the gradual complexification of early life leading up to what we see now. Okay, so uh, let's uh, look a little bit more closely at the chemical steps. So in broad outline, what we think happened is that you start off with very uh, simple molecules, uh, such as shown up here. Um, there's still a lot of debate about the nature of the early atmosphere. Uh, scientific opinions have gone back and forth uh, in terms of the structure and how reducing that atmosphere was. Um, but it's also been recognized that there could be very important uh, local variations. So even if the atmosphere was globally um, fairly neutral or perhaps mildly reducing or mildly oxidizing, there could be local environments that were more uh, reducing. Uh, that, together with the uh, input of various forms of energy, for example, from uh, uh, electric discharges, uh, lightning, uh, high energy ultraviolet radiation, ionizing radiation. Uh, these are all, all forms of very uh, energetic processes that can basically rip these, these, these uh, small starting molecules apart into atoms, which can then recombine to generate high energy intermediates with multiple bonds. Molecules like cyanide and acetylene, um, formaldehyde, and so on. And these molecules can then start to interact with each other and gradually build up more complex intermediates, ultimately leading to the uh, things we really care about, the, the, the lipids that will make membranes and vesicles, uh, the nucleotides that will assemble into genetic molecules like RNA, uh, amino acids that can assemble into peptides, uh, which may also play roles in, in primitive cells, and somehow, and this is the question that my lab has really been focused on, somehow all of these molecules come together and assemble into larger structures that look and act like cells that can grow and divide. 